So guys, for the first step, you want to get to this screen. Now to get to this screen, you want to turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. Once you turn it back on again, you're going to see the Windows Zone screen. Now once you see the Windows Zone screen, you want to turn off your computer and then turn it back on again. Repeat this three times and then it will bring you to here. It's going to say that your PC did not start correctly, you want to click on Advanced Options, which will then bring us into here. Now you want to click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, and then Command Prompt. And now once you're on command prompt, you have a few commands you need to type in. I'm going to leave them all down below in the description. So the first command is going to be C colon, click on enter. Now we're going to type in bcd edit space forward slash export space C colon backslash bcd backup. Click on enter. Now we're going to type in attrib space C colon backslash boot backslash bcd space dash h space dash r space dash s. And click on enter. For me, it says file not found because I don't have this problem, but in your case, it will work for you. And now we're going to type in ren space c colon backslash boot backslash bcd space bcd dot old. Click on enter. And now we're going to type in boot rec space forward slash rebuild bcd. Click on enter. You're going to wait for this to load. Now, I might ask you to type a, y, or n. In my case, it doesn't, but it might ask you to type in a, y, or n. You want to type in a and then click on enter. If it didn't ask you to type anything though, it's fine. And now you want to type in SFC space forward slash scan now and then click on enter. Then you want to run the scan. And now once that's been done, you want to type in chkdsk space forward slash f space forward slash r. Click on enter. And now you want to type in y and then click on enter again. And once the scan's been done, you want to close this out. And then you want to continue onto Windows. And now once you're back in Windows, you just want to restart your computer. And then as your computer turns on again, it might do another scan for you, and you just want to run that scan. If it does not do the other scan, then it's fine. But now your problem should be fixed.